Welcome to my channel. Make sure you hit that like button, subscribe, and share this video with your friends and family. So Larsa Pippen, the ex-wife of Scottie Pippen, has a new boo. She is now allegedly dating none other than Marcus Jordan, who happens to be the son of Michael Jordan. This lady has taken dotting to a new low, all right? So it says, Scottie Pippen, probably not going to like this. His ex-wife is in Miami, seemingly getting cozy with his old team son and not just any teammate it's Michael Jordan Larsa Pippen was spotted Sunday at Zuma a Japanese restaurant right in the heart of downtown and it's downtown Miami by the way with none other than Marcus Jordan and the two of them were told appeared to be on a double date of some sort with another couple at their table so there's a picture right here now guys of course none of this is official none of this is confirmed maybe they're having a business meeting so ladies hide your husbands hide your boyfriends because Lord Marissa Pippen is on a prowl and as long as he's legal, she don't care how young he is. So she went from being the wife of an NBA Hall of Famer, an NBA legend, a guy who played alongside with Michael Jordan, to being out on a prowl and being on the streets, getting smashed by Future, dating Malik Beasley, who was 23-24 at the time, Tristan Thompson, and God knows how many other guys. Talk about hustling backwards. You went from being an NBA wife to being a thought who gets passed around like a bastard basketball and now you're out and about with Michael Jordan's son do you have any shame do you have any shame this lady has more bodies than a morgue she has bodies on bodies on bodies she has taken being out on the streets to a new level i mean like damn i know they say it's a hot girl summer at least have some limits at least have some morals messing with your ex-husband's former teammates younger son who's 31 years old while you're 48 that is not good at all now of course none of this has been confirmed but what makes this more believable check this out this is jeffrey jordan and his wife him and his wife again so clearly the jordan sons have a type this is marcus jordan he likes a little cougar loving all right so there's him this him again this him again so the man does like the cougars so this makes the story even more believable this is what happens when you can't replace a guy like scotty when you thought the grass was greener on the other side when you thought that you would easily be able to attract another replacement that was tall that was in shape that was rich just like scotty as you can see she was complaining about not being able to find a replacement and how hard it is to date because she compares every guy to Scottie Pippen. Well, boo, this is not going to help your case. You keep getting passed around like a basketball. Just because guys take you out, they fly you out, they trick off a little money on you and sleep with you, that's not the same thing as wanting to make you their wife, all right? None of the guys in the NBA, NFL, or MLB roster or any type of celebrity is checking for you long term. Sure, they might mess around with you, but nobody's looking for you for a long term serious relationship. You should have stick with Scotty but no what do you do since you cannot replace him all the other guys pumped and dump you what do you try to do desperate times call for desperate measures so you go and be with the next best thing available and that is Michael Jordan's son Marcus Jordan who is 31 years old the jokes keep writing themselves she went from double dates with the father to dating the son on top of that guys she's been on the cougar prowl before she dated Malik Bisley and he was around 23 24 at the time not to mention he was married and had a kid at home and his wife filed for divorce after seeing them holding hands on social media so none of this should be a shocker she has no shame in being homewrecker in her own marriage and also being a homewrecker in Malik Bisley's marriage. She clearly has no shame. She clearly has no care about how this impacts her kids and how they will look at her. And also, why are you still keeping the Pippin last name? You guys are no longer together. You're clearly more focused on being out on the prowl, being pumped and dumped, being on the streets. Scotty is an NBA Hall of Fame, an NBA legend. When they bring up Michael Jordan, you gotta mention Scotty Pippin. Now you're out here on the streets wilding out, catching bodies left and right, destroying the man's last name. It was bad enough with the whole future fiasco, but now you're with Michael Jordan's son? How low can you go? This is embarrassing. So guys, let me know what you think. And with that being said, I am out.